fractions. Let's look at the answer for the first one. So we have 8 by 16 is 5 divided by what? Now, very important, there are two methods. Let me teach you both the methods. For the first one, let me do one method and let's see for the next one how we can try and incorporate another method. So 8 by 16 is equal to 5 divided by something. So when you cross multiply, it should be equal because it says that both these fractions are equal. So we have 16 multiplied by 5 is 80. So we have 8 multiplied by what will give you 80? So the answer would be 10. So all that you need to do if the fractions are equal is when you cross multiply, it should give you the same answer. Let's look at the method 2 for the next one. 6 divided by 27 is something divided by 9. Now, can I see how 27 has become 9? So you will notice that 27 divided by 3 gives you 9. And here you will have 6, you do the same thing to the numerator. So 6 divided by 3 would give you 2. So there are two different methods you can follow. Whichever you're comfortable, you can do that. The next one, as I told you, 3 divided by 4. So 4 has become 12. And how does it become? You see that it has been multiplied by 3. So you do the same to the numerator. So 3 multiplied by 3 gives you 9. So the answer is 9 here. The next one, 25 divided by 35 is equal to 15 divided by what? So we know that 25 multiplied by that number should be equal to 35 multiplied by 15. 35 multiplied by 15 gives you the number 525. So if you see 25 multiplied by what would give you 525? The answer would be 21. Now let's look at the next one. We have these fractions which are given in column A and we have to bring it to the lowest which is in column B, which means that we have to reduce it to the lowest terms. So you see 18 and 45, you see 9 times table is in common. So when I cancel, it becomes 2 by 5. <clears throat> Let me do that again. Yes. The next one you have 64 divided by 72. So you see that there is 8 times table which goes in common. So 8 8s are 64 and 8 9s are 72. The next one is 33 divided by 99. You have the 11 times table which goes in both. So it becomes 3 by 9. Remember 3 by 9 and we have to further simplify it. Again 3 times table is in common. So we'll have it as 1 by 3. Or you could directly do that 33 times 1s are and 33 times 3s are is 99 and directly it's 1 by 3. You could do the two-step method or direct method. And 15 by 75, we know that 15 into 5 is 75, so it is 1 by 5 here. So the next one is convert the pairs of unlike fractions to like fractions. Like fractions are those which have the common denominator, so between 4 and 3. We know that it is 12, which is the common factor, or rather the common multiple, I'm sorry. Uh, so 4 into what gives you 12? 4 3s are 12, so you multiply the numerator also by 3. So 1 into 3 is 3, and 4 3s are 12. So LCM stands for the lowest common multiple. So if you see for 4, the multiples are 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, etc. Multiples of 3 would be 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, etc. The lowest common between them would be 12. And that's how we have converted the common factor here or the sorry, the common multiple here as 12. And let's look at how 3 becomes 12. 3 multiplied by 4 is 12. So when I multiply the denominator with 4, multiply the numerator also with 4. So it becomes 3 by 12 and 8 by 12. Similarly, for the next one, if you see, 30 would be the LCM. So 6 multiplied by 5 becomes 30. So 5 multiplied by 5 would be 25. 15 multiplied by 2 is 30. 
So the numerator also multiplied by 2. Here in this case it was 8. 8 2s are 16. The next one is compare the fractions below and write whether it is less than, equal to or greater than in the blanks. So there are two ways of doing it. You can take the LCM and you can find out, turn it into like fractions and then do it. Or you could also cross multiply and see which is greater and do it. So in both the cases here if you see for 6 and 10 the LCM would be 30. So if you have to convert this to 30 this becomes 5 by 30 and this would become 3 by 30. So which is greater? We know that 5 by 30 is greater than this. Next is 5 by 8 and 7 by 12. So you know that the LCM is 24 between 8 and 12. So here you write 24 because this is multiplied by 3. Multiply the numerator also by 3 which is 15 by 24. And here you have 12 twos are 24 because the LCM is 24 multiplied by 2. You realize that you get 24 and you have 7 twos are 14. So again you see that 15 by 24 is greater than 14 by 24. The next one is 5 by 6 and 15 by 18. Let's try the next other method. 6 multiplied by what gives you 18? 6 threes are 18. So here you want to make this a like fraction. So this becomes 18 here because you know it comes in the tables as a lowest common multiple. And here when I multiply it by 3, I know that 5 into 3 gives me 15. So here you will see that both these fractions are actually equal. If you want to try it by the other method too, you can try it. For example, 7 into 11. Let's cross multiply is 77. 20 multiplied by 7 is 140. So which is 77 is less than 140. So this is the other method I was telling you about. So just to give you an understanding of both the methods. The next one, you have 1 and 8 by 15 plus 3 by 5. Remember, you need to convert it into like fractions so that you are directly able to add it. So I know that 3 by 5 has to be converted, which makes it 9 by 15. So when I add 1 and 8 by 15 plus 9 by 15, I get 1 and 17 by 15. Obviously, it becomes an improper fraction. So I convert that 17 by 15 as one whole and 2 by 15. I already have one whole here. So which makes it 2 whole and 2 by 15. Let's look at the next one. 1 and 3 by, sorry, 3 and 1 by 14 minus 1 and 3 by 14. Let me just erase this out. 3 and 1 by 14 minus 1 and 3 by 14. So you can convert this into a mixed number. So 14 multiplied by 3 is 42 plus 1 is 43 by 14. Let's write this here 43 by 14. And since we are having the like terms in terms of the denominator being the same, I'm having it as a common denominator. I have a subtraction sign. 14 multiplied by 1 is 14 plus 3 is 17. So 43 minus 17 will give you 26 by 14, which is nothing but 26 by 14. And when you divide it, you will see that it is 1 and 12 by 14. But remember, we have to bring it to the lowest term as mentioned here. So we need to write this as 1 and 12 by 14 will become 1 and 6 by 7 because you have 2 which is a common factor between 12 and 14. The next one is 1 and 17 by 18 minus 5 by 6. So here you will see that they are to convert it into like fractions. If I want to make this as 18, the numerator becomes 15 here because you have to multiply it by 3. 6 3s are 18, 5 3s are 15. Now between 17 by 18 minus 15 by 18 is nothing but 2 by 18 and I still have the whole number 1 there. So 1 and 2 by 18. Remember once again simplify to the lowest between 2 and 18 you have 2 which is the common factor. So it becomes 1 and 1 by 9. The next one is 5 pi is 25 plus 2 is 27 divided by 5. 
let me write it here for you, it is 7 divided by 5 plus 11 divided by 3 because 3 threes are 9 and plus 2 would make it 11 divided by 3. So between 5 and 3 the LCM would be 15. So 5 multiplied by 3 gives you 15. So 27 multiplied by 3 would make it 81. Remember the denominator is you converting it into the LCM here as 15. So 81 and you have we have the plus sign which is in between. So 3 multiplied by what is 15? 3 into 5. So 11 into 5 makes it 55. So we have 81 plus 55, which makes it 136 by 15, which is nothing but 9 and 1 by 15. So that would be the answer. Let's look at the next one. If one dress requires 7 by 12 meters of cloth, how much cloth will be needed for 32 dresses? So remember, for one dress, it is 7 by 12 meters, which means for two dresses, it will be 2 multiplied by 7 by 12. Sorry, not 7 by 2, it was 7 by 12. So for two dresses, it will be 2 multiplied by 7 by 12. So for 32, it would be 32 multiplied by 7 by 12. So many meters of cloth is needed. So now when I multiply this and I divide it by 12, you will see that you get 224 divided by 12 because 32 multiplied by 7 would be 224 divided by 12. And when I convert this into a mixed number, it would give me 18 and 2 by 3. Remember, I have to bring it to the lowest terms. So it is 18 and actually it comes to 8 by 12. And when I bring it to the lowest terms, it will become 2 by 3. So I'm going to directly write it because you know that 8 by 12, the common factor would be 4. So it becomes 18 and 2 by 3 when I cancel out the common factor. The next one. Kiara has five and a half kgs of mangoes. She wanted to store them in boxes with each box having half kg. How many boxes will she require? So here we find that for every half kg, we need to pack it in one box. So for five and a half, I'm going to make it separately as five kgs and a half kg. So I know for this half kg, I will need one box. Let me write one B. I know for the five kgs, remember, one kg is nothing but two half kgs. So five kgs will require for one kg, I will need two boxes. For two kgs, I will need four boxes. Like that for five kgs, I will need 10 boxes. So for five kgs, it is 10 boxes. And for two kg, for the half kg is one box. So altogether, I need 11. The other way of doing it is write five and a half divided by half because for each half we are having it as a box so when it divided by half so this is nothing but when i convert this five and a half is five two so ten plus one is eleven let me write it here for you so it is eleven by two and it's divided by half which means i multiply it with the reciprocal which is two by one and here it becomes 22 by two cancelling the common factor otherwise directly you get 11 boxes. So either of the way you can follow this. John filled 12 bottles with 3 by 10 liters of juice in each. He was left with 1 by 4 liter of juice. How much juice does he have in all? So he has 3 by 10 in each bottle which means in the 12 bottles altogether he will have it as 3 by 10 multiplied by 12. So which gives us 36 by 10 and I bring it to the lowest terms it is nothing but 18 by 5 liters. Remember he still has something left so we need to just add that also right. So he was left with 1 by 4 liters of water so it is 18 by 5 plus 1 by 4 we need to add that up to find out how much juice does he have in all. So he has 1 by 4 liters. Remember 5 and 4, the lowest common multiple would be 20. 
5 multiplied by 4 is 20, so you have 18 multiplied by 4 is 72. 4 multiplied by 5 is 20, so 1 multiplied by 5, what I do to the denominator, I have to convert it to the same to the numerator, so multiply by 5. So it makes it 77 by 20, and here it is a mixed number, so I convert that 77 by 20 as 3 and 17 by 20. To do more of these worksheets, log on to Luma World and download a lot many more.